Now, technology is transforming the job market as we know it, with companies here in South Korea increasingly using artificial intelligence in their recruitment processes. Because of this, many job applicants are actually seeking lessons on how to beat the AI algorithms. Park Se-young has this report. Your next job interview could be with a robot. Employers are experimenting with artificial intelligence to help them find the best workers for their companies. Here in Korea, top conglomerates including SK Innovation and Hyundai Engineering and Construction are among a growing number of companies applying AI to the hiring process. And according to the Korea Economic Research Institute, nearly a quarter of the top 131 corporations in the country currently use or plan to use AI in hiring. While this may help businesses whittle down their piles of job applications, the AI algorithms have become a new source of frustration for job seekers. Job seekers are desperate enough to exaggerate their capabilities in order to have employers take another look at them. But you can't trick AI. As a job seeker, I think I'll feel hopeless if AI interviews are made popular and the majority of companies use them. The interviewees get their verbal responses and facial expressions deconstructed and analyzed by the AI algorithm. One program assesses 37 different capabilities of a job applicant, including their subconscious behavior. We believe the actual performance or competency of the applicants cannot be properly assessed when they're deliberately thinking, responding and acting during interviews. We want to see how the applicants subconsciously react and deal with situations. The increasing prevalence of AI in the hiring process has gotten job seekers turning to cram schools to prepare for interviews with robots. Job applicants learn how to answer interview questions as well as to maintain their composure and positive facial expressions. But there are worries that all this adds to the expense and workload of an already tough job search process. Park Se-young, Arirang News.